Hi guys, this is Snuggy from Snuggy's Crafting Corner. I hope everybody is doing well. I want to thank all the viewers that's been coming by, the people that's been coming by for the live stream, and uh, returning and new subscribers. Um, if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and there's a bell. Make sure that you click all that so every time I put up a video, you will be notified. And like I said, I got three completions for you. And just a couple minutes about the event that's coming up in December. It's called Hashtag Love for All Things 23. We have 12 sponsors so far, 13 if you want to count myself because I'm going to be making stuff for you guys for the event. And we're going to be throwing out stuff there. It's specifically just diamond painting, but there is going to be some like extra giveaways and we're going to be doing like different things that's not diamond painting related. Um, I'll throw it out there like coloring pages or stuff like that. But if you don't know about the event, to simplify it a little bit, is you pretty much it just has to be a 30 by 40. It doesn't have to be a new start. It doesn't have to be a finish. Um, you can work on anything. There is no theme whatsoever. The only thing that I ask is try to refrain as much as you can away from stolen artwork. I don't care where you get your canvas from. I am not the police. So, you know, the only thing that I ask is try to stay away from it if you know it is, okay? <clears throat> And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to my admins, my moderators, or anything like that. Any of us can help you out with that if you're new to diamond painting and need some help. Um, it starts December 1st. It ends the 31st. So there will be a weekly giveaway. And then there's going to be a, um, a final, a grand finale. But then in between, uh, we're gonna throw you know throw some stuff out there, and um, also I'm doing a collab with Mutt Nuts, and um, they're gonna be helping me out a lot during this event. They're probably gonna wring my neck by the time we're done with it all. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> so. Um, a lot of them that's going to be helping me out is, you see her a lot, her name is uh, Deborah, and then we have Mutt Nuts. Um, and then my moderator is Anita Johnson. So, with that being said, let's get into this. But if you have any questions at all, oh guys, and plus I have a Facebook group. You guys need to be hooked up to the Facebook group. Um, because that's where a lot of the events, um, the up posts, unless you guys know what's going on, that's where everything's going to be at. And it's Snuggie's Crafting Corner. And I also have TikTok. My goal is a thousand. I'm almost there. I'm about like 860-ish or something like that. And that's Snuggie's Crafting Corner. Um, the Facebook group is Snuggie's Crafting Corner. And... I try to keep everything very simple, just not for myself, but for you guys too. Because if you have the, you have these different social medias that you would like to follow me on, um, I just don't want it to be confusing. So I thought it would be just simple if I just kept all the names the same. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, in every single video, I put my email. Um, if you're hooked up to the Facebook group, we have a Facebook group chat. So that's another way to get a hold of me. So if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me. Or if you'd like to be a sponsor, go ahead and reach out to me. Oh, before I forget, that's another thing. So if you are a sponsor, if you are a co-host during the event, you can enter, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna show you my completions. So the first completion was for the month of October. Let your witch goddess free. Uh, Love and Sparkles is the one that hosted it. It was a very lovely event. Two months. 
she about wrung out her hair probably by the time she was done with it. Because, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Two months of an event is a very, very long time. But she kept it together. And she did it by herself. I don't know how she did it by herself, but she did. But here's that one for this month, that month of October. Isn't she gorgeous? Now, I put, I believe that I put two ABs, which was in her hat. And then, let me see, I put some in here in her hair. And then her ring. Just a couple. Oh, and then here in the moon in the background, I put these really pretty blue ABs in there. Um, I was working on this and my colorful flower that month. The reason why I don't have it in front of me is because it's on my wall, which I already did a video for you guys, but I didn't do one for here. So I wanted to show you. And it is 24 colors. This one I had pur purchased on Amazon. Um, I didn't have no problems whatsoever. I had enough diamonds. It was sticky. No issues with it. You know, I'm noticing over the years of buying from these budget-friendly companies that the complaints that they have gotten in the past that they are working on. So they are listening to us about the problems with the canvases because they are these canvases are turning out really, really beautiful. So that's this one. And the next two is for the month I'm trying to think I might have messed up when I told you the month of October because I think it no I'm sorry so this one started in September so I had this one in September and I had the flower one from Art Dot in September so the next month is actually last month which was October. I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. So here's the other one. This one's my more my favorite out of two. Isn't that cat gorgeous? This is also an Amazon. I wish I could get a cat that looked at it. so adorable. So I used two ABs in this one. Guys, I really didn't know how it would turn out. I'm not new to... Uh, doing enhancements but um, usually what I enhance it's with regular ABs and I decided to kind of go you know out of my comfort zone as you would say and do the rhinestones and they turned out a lot better than what I thought and I used the rhinestones here in the pumpkin um, and then the red ones are rhinestones, these yellow ones are rhinestones, and then I also threw an AB, so it turned out really, really well. So we have some down in here, all over here in the pumpkin, and then in the um, cat's little necklace. And then we got a couple of red ones just saying, hey, I'm over here. And then um, this was 22 colors. Also, did not have a problem with this cat canvas. And also, the sticky was great. Enough diamonds for both of these projects that I showed you. Um, and actually, plenty need to have for my stash for my diamonds. So, do you guys <clears throat> do you guys save your diamonds? I save my di diamonds for two purposes. One, in case the canvas, I come short, I can go back and hopefully have whatever I'm missing it has happened a couple of times and then two whenever I decide one day to do something different and I want to spruce something up with um, any leftover diamonds I can do that so um, but I still got some that I have to get because there's so many DMC numbers you say what is DMC DMC numbers is how we track the colors some canvases don't have them, but if you notice on here, there's these numbers. These are the DMC. The DMCs, 
kind of started with the cross stitches. The cross stitches kind of converted over to what we know as diamond painting. But that was these two for these two months for events for Love and Sparkles, known as Cindy. And please go check her out. And if you're new to checking her out, let her know that Snuggie sent you. Okay, so this next one, I did start in October. Kokisha with a company that you might know, um, Butterfly Kisses Customs. Um, she does have an Etsy shop. She has, oh my gosh, she's got a lot of beautiful things. Uh, she's got beautiful tumblers. Um, she has uh, these funny, 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 funny shirts. I'd be reading to my husband. He'd be cracking up. Um, but she did an event last month for domestic awareness. And um, the name was Break the Silence 23. Um, it was just a month, but she added an extra week. Everything was closed actually last night. And actually, I didn't finish this. I started, started it October 1st, but I didn't finish it until not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. So it did take me a little bit over a month. Lately, I've been working on two or three canvases. So that's why or else it would have been done already. Are you guys ready to see this beauty? If I can get everything out of the way. Because it's bigger. This this one's a 40 by 50. I apologize. I didn't tell you what size the other canvases are. They are a 30 by 40 on these two. But this one is a 40 by 50. Look at this. It turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, I added... I was going to... Guys, I was going to only add two ABs. But I ended up adding three so I added the blue and the butterfly there's some over here over here a little bit in there and then a little bit on the bottom here and then I added some rhinestones on the top because I see how well I did with the pumpkin so I'm like I'm gonna add them in there and it does good effect and then I got some red ABs kind of a little bit up in here I think it turned out really, really good. This is also what I got off of Amazon. But yeah, it turned out really, really pretty. Um, this also came with DMC numbers and it was 25 colors. The stick was great. Um, <clears throat> but out of, out of all that, what I am impressed with with this canvas is the clarity of the canvas. It was super, super good. It, it was. It was super good because I guess I didn't really need a light pad, but I'm going to be honest. I don't care if I can. I could have a diamond art club, right, that you don't necessarily need a light pad for. I always use my light pad. The only time I don't use my light pad is if I'm diamond painting outside because it's pointless because you ain't going to see the light because the sun overtakes all the light you really need. Yep, even when you don't have to. So I'm like, okay, no point in me, you know, wasting my light. So I just end up turning it off. But, um, yeah, I use my, I use it for all of my canvases. But I was really impressed with the clarity of how they rendered it and everything. Um, and like I said, we got some gears down here. The only thing that I found different is from the picture to, and it's something so, so small, and it doesn't matter to me, but I do have to point this out, is that up in here, if you see this color, it might, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the camera, but to me, it's like a purplish, bluish color, but in the picture, it's showing that it's supposed to be like a, a white, creamy color right and this is not a white creamy color so that was the only thing that didn't but I am still over I, I think it's a 100% canvas sure and I really recommend getting it I have a drill on here okay it's extra Whew. I mean I still have to clean it up because you know how you get those fuzzies and 
sometimes, you know, I smoke cigarettes, so sometimes I'll be getting my tobacco in there. I know, naughty. I shall smoke when I'm doing my canvases, but hey, it is what it is, right? But what do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? And it kind of also reminds me, like, this clock is in, like, the galaxy or something. You know what I mean? Because the colors that it brings out. Yes, I'm really impressed with this canvas, guys. I love it a lot. And then the flowers. I don't know if I told you that. And then these ones up here I showed you. And then the leaves. But, yeah, it, looked, it turned out really, really good. And then we got some leaves down here. Yeah, let me know what you guys are working on. Uh, let me know what you think about the canvas, if it was something that you would order down the way. Um, but yeah, I got this all off of Amazon. Well, until next time, you guys. I can't be on here too long because I'm about to do a live. So, see ya. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Thank you. Bye.